Welcome to Watermelon Channel. It's easy to forget, but the actors on your favorite series are often looking at something completely different from the final product when they're filming on the set. With that in mind, here's a peek behind the curtain at the effects of some of TV's most popular shows. By the way, what's your favorite TV series? Let us know in the comments below. The Witcher Season 1 opens with an incredible fight between Geralt of Rivia and Kiki Mora, one of the show's best set pieces. Amelia Clark gently strokes a dragon which is essentially a 14-foot pole with a green soft stuff bag on top of it. From the ice mountains to the desert plains, Netflix created visual effects to best serve the story of the uniquely stylized, surreal-looking world of a series of unfortunate events. To create an epic battle of two visions in the library, Paul Bettany recorded both sides of the encounter opposite a stuntman. Then, the stuntman's head and body were replaced with Paul's. The show C is set in a future post-apocalyptic world where the planet has descended into chaos. A lot of the visual effects team work was to enhance that environment, add age onto a lot of things, and just try to show the world as it would be after a real collapse of society. The dire wolves from Game of Thrones are real wolves, shot on a green screen, and later superimposed using digital compositing. Unlike dire wolves, this little dragon is a ground-up digital creation. The greater crate dragon on Tatooine was realized as a 600-foot computer-generated creature that could swim shark-like through the sand environment by way of a liquefaction effect, wherein the sand would behave like water. When the world shut down in 2020, the production team had to develop a fully computer-generated jungle environment for the 8-mile chase scene. Since Moon Knight involved an abundance of many magical elements, the show, like most Marvel Universe projects, heavily features computer graphics. CGI wizardry helped the frisky cat Goose to perform beyond the scope of what is teachable to a real cat and spared allergic Brie Larson. The giant 1-1 one -one is played by Ian White, who stands at 7 foot 1, but he is often replaced with a tennis ball on a stick when he is seen interacting with other characters. The Game of Thrones dragon set a new standard for how these creatures are designed and brought to life. Working with digital props, the show's cast are able to interact with the dragons. If you need a large crowd, you can always copy-paste a little one. Each actor who plays a White Walker is fitted with full prosthetics on their hands, face, and sometimes torso.
Mrs. Marvel's video effects team designed procedurally grown superhero powers that materialize out of thin air, giving her the ability to turn every street and rooftop into a jump and run video game. Making of the Void, a place where Loki variants are sent, never to return, was the most challenging and fun in the whole show. Episode 5 contained 527 shots, more than any other episode in the series. The exotic inhabitants of Uncle Morty's reptile room are obviously computer-generated, but did you notice how the infant actor playing Sonny was also replaced by CGI in some scenes? Here's what Wanda expelling Monica from Westview looks like on set. The hex wall that surrounds Westview is based on old-school tube-based TV sets. Of course, it wouldn't be The Witcher without incredible monsters. From the Leshy to the Basilisks, the visual effects team put a lot of effort into bringing the fantastic creatures of Season 2 to life. All told, the first season of The Mandalorian contained over 4,000 traditional visual effects shots created in post, in addition to the real-time effects achieved in the StageCraft volume. The various layers of different effects creating the giant dragon cloud of death, Alioth, are genuinely astounding, even more so in how well it all works. Working on Netflix's series Shadow and Bone visual aesthetic, the VFX team made everything feel like a live-action anime. This comical-looking stuntman in red spandex and a shiny helmet is none other than the terrifying Mind Flayer, without CGI. A stunning array of visuals is given with any story that features the Man of Steel. The production team pulled references from elephants and rhinos to design realistic Blurg, a massive dinosaur yak-like monster that the Mandalorian learns to ride. For the shot where Queen Maeve shatters an armored truck, the production team filmed a real truck smashing into a steel pole that was later removed by VFX. The boys' special effects were nominated for an Emmy in 2021, but lost to the Mandalorian. While Marvel's first Disney Plus series, WandaVision, went easy on the action, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier has been chock full of the MCU's typical heart-pounding moments, challenging the VFX team.
The 10th episode of The Orville is an effects-heavy plot reliant on some mean and crispy visuals. But the execution, even when faced with the impossible, remains exemplary. The creators of Peacemaker once attempted to use a trained eagle to perform in several scenes, but weren't satisfied with the animal's performance and went the computer-generated route. The Orville team could use a real spider for this scene, but we don't think Scott Grimes would approve of it. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want more. See you in the next one.